Today, we're gonna to take on another really hard strengthening question, but I'm gonna show you how to do it really fast and really easily. I also wanna share with you my supercharged two-week study plan. If you only have two weeks to study for the GRE, or if you wanna kick your studying into overdrive, this is for you. I tell you what to do every single day, and we only concentrate on the stuff that's gonna give you the biggest score raise. It's yours completely free. You can download yours right in the description. So far, we've learned that to nail strengthening questions, what we wanna do is pull out the conclusion and then find the answer choice that gives us a good reason to believe that the conclusion will actually happen or the plan will actually work. As the questions get harder, they'll expect you to know that you can strengthen an argument by eliminating a really strong argument that would have weakened the conclusion. So if you can eliminate a weakening argument, you've actually found a strengthening argument. I know that sounds confusing, but let's take a look at an example and I think you'll see what I mean. This is a bit too long to read out loud, so go ahead and read it on your own and then we'll walk through it. Okay, first things first. What is the conclusion? What is it that we're trying to accomplish? Right, we wanna get rid of that deficit. How exactly are we gonna do that? Okay, we're gonna do that by reducing fares and increasing ridership. Okay, so what we need is we need a reason to believe that lowering fares and increasing ridership will lead to a decrease in that deficit. Fine, let's take a look at our answer choices. All right, A. Well, A is out. A just gives us a bunch of history. It doesn't give us any reason to believe that the deficit will go away if we decrease fares and increase ridership. What about B? You know what? B doesn't really help us either. All B says is that students are going to keep on paying the same as they always did. That doesn't make a deficit go away. What about C? Well, C really isn't helping. C is saying there are a bunch of really big costs coming up. That's a reason to believe the deficit will go up, not down. Now, what about D? Well, D is interesting. D says that we can accommodate a 10% increase in riders, but not have to run more trains. So we can keep our costs the same while we increase the number of paying customers. Notice that D eliminates a weakening argument. A very, very fine and effective weakening argument would have been, sure, you can accommodate more riders, but your costs are gonna go up if you get more people using the system. D is saying, no, you don't have to worry about that argument. We're gonna eliminate that argument. Costs won't go up if you can increase ridership by 10%. So D, we're gonna keep around because it eliminates a weakening argument. What about E? Well, E doesn't help at all. We don't care about other cities. So our correct answer choice is D. Nice job. As the questions get harder, remember, if you can eliminate a weakening argument, you've strengthened the argument. Okay, nice job. Okay, great work. And don't forget about your free gift, my supercharged two-week study plan designed to raise your score as much as possible in as short of time as possible. Okay, good job. We'll see you next time.